cantering away from the racetrack, a young thoroughbred is facing a complete metamorphose. The rebirth will demand all the experience, knowledge, and mental support that the rider is capable of. The journey is fascinating, but the transition from the racetrack to the show ring is more complex than simply switching a few sets of rules. The making of a thoroughbred named Chazeau is a guide for anyone owning a thoroughbred. Chazeau is a great example as he blends into a single horse all the problems that can be expected from a thoroughbred, but also all of the qualities. Like a growing kid has to perform at maximum speed, a thoroughbred is an athlete pushed too early, too fast, and too vehemently. In some cases, physical scars are visible, but, even if insidious, mental dismays are real and important. Chazeau was taller, stronger, and more spirited than most racing horses. At two years old, he was already seventeen one hands. He was like a teenager, having grown too fast, to the size of a basketball player, and asked to perform the 100 meters hurdle. His knees were not calcified. His vertebral arches were not closed. In his mind, performances equaled pain, and since he was already head and shoulders above every other horse, his defense mechanism was straight up in the air. Whenever a horse rears, bucks, spooks, or takes off, the general consensus addresses the gesture and, in most instances, fails. Instead, efficacy demands focusing on the mental processing that triggers the defense. The behavior may be wrong or dangerous, but it is primarily a defense mechanism that needs to be analyzed down to its roots. In the relationship between humans and equines, fear is the main source of excesses. Aggressive riding, excessive punishments, submissive techniques are mainly directed by fear. Chazeau was too tall, too powerful, and too spirited for average training techniques. Each race, Chazeau needed a new jockey, since the previous one was not willing to renew the experience. He scared his caretakers and handlers as well. As a result, he was punished more than educated. He was chastised for the moves he did and reprimanded by anticipation of the moves he might do. Chazot reared out of despair. He reared out of frustration, anger, pain. He reared and reared and reared to the point of not always knowing why he was rearing. 